Here at CES, we're sitting inside a buck for the Chrysler portal because we want to see what all the different user experience items in this vehicle are. And right now I'm talking with Emilio Feliciano, who is one of the user experience designers. And Emilio, tell us what this is all about. <laughs> yeah, uh, really uh, the portal concept is uh, a look at the future uh, in terms of uh, you know, mobility for millennials, focused on millennials. And um, really, the biggest thing is, you know, the flexibility uh, and and the, the technology integration. Um, the lifestyle of millennials um, are, are very different from person to person. Um, not only over the years, especially when, when, when starting a family, but um, also day to day, right? And, and so really the flexibility is key, as well as the technology integration, because, they, you know, that's something that's expected from this, this generation. Okay, so let's get into some specifics. Let's start with the top of the instrument panel here, and why have you designed it to look the way it does? Sure, yep, so the high mount display um, is um, really uh, a large display focused on driver content. So it's higher up in the vision line to keep you focused on the vehicle uh, and, and the road ahead and driving. Um, but it also spans the width of the IP to also help you um, understand what's going on while you're driving, while you're looking around. So we have driver con content in the, in the front, right in front of you. So we have Speedo and other things like that. We have spatial awareness um, and route information in the middle. And then we have passenger content over to the right. And what do you mean by passenger content? So we've designed this vehicle to be um, focused both on the driving experience as well as the passenger experience. And so we're leveraging um, biometrics and cloud-based profiles to uh, give every passenger their own profile. And so what you see up there is um, basically each passenger um, and where they're seated in the vehicle. Okay, and now we've got this giant screen down in this part of the center console, which is really cool. This looks like it comes right out of television technology. Tell me what this is about. So the idea here is um, really, really giving um, the passengers the content that, that they expect. So we have everything you'd expect in a normal um, inter interface. So we have music, media, climate, things like that. You know, again, we also have, you know, the profile content. So we're seeing the different passengers, their names, where they're seated. Um, and then on top of that, we've also integrated other, other things that are really, really come back to that technology integration. So here we're looking at um, IoT uh, integrations, though Panasonic worked with us on, on uh, integrating um, IoT connectivity. So here you're seeing basically a, a, a section in the UI where you can basically control um, all your smart devices at your home. So we can control the temperature in your house, the doors, uh, and your garage doors, whether you lock them, unlock them, the lights, and also some some cameras. So we're really we're really trying to treat this this vehicle more as a device connected to the system of devices that a millennial has in their in their in their in their life. Gotcha. And speaking of Panasonic, we've got somebody from Panasonic here, Martin. Tell us a little bit about what you've been working on, especially from a sound standpoint, and making this all visually as appealing as it is. Well, we've been working with Chrysler since the very, since the very beginning of this project, and what's been nice with this collaboration effort with Chrysler is to be, be able to bring a lot of Panasonic technologies in a production-ready environment. We're running everything on Qualcomm boards, which are um, running on Android, uh, uh, Android M, and as Amelia mentioned, our IoT screen is running on our OpenDoF IoT platform, or sorry, framework. And the nice advantage to that is it brings everything closer to production. So this is a concept vehicle built on embedded technology that then we could push into a vehicle very seamlessly. So Emilio touched a little bit on the acoustical technology that we've added. There are three key pieces. One of them is the enhanced audio landscape, which is in, in increasing spatial awareness uh, using sonification of familiar audio cues. The other one is our private zone audio, which creates an acoustical bubble around every occupant. Along wait, 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 you got to explain that more because that's really cool. Great, our, our, and our uh, private zoned audio, our personal zoned audio, is developed with these headrest speakers, some very sophistic, uh, sophisticated audio processing that allows us to create an acoustical bubble over each occupant. What that means simply is, Emilio can listen to any content that he wishes, I can listen to my very own content, 
very separate from the Emilio. Now that's great for millennials, but it's also really great for millennial families. As Emilio was touching on, millennial family, millennials go through some very rapid lifestyle changes from being single to being married to having kids. And the minute they start to do these things, like having children, you have kids in the back seat that want to bring in their own content, which is very different than mom and dad's preferences. And so the uh, private zoned audio or personal zoned audio allows me to be driving, listening to maybe my own NPR, my phone call, while the children are listening to a movie or some music that it suits their needs or suits their tastes. Okay, quick question. When might we see that kind of stuff in production? Well, that's really up to Chrysler. We're ready to bring it to them today. Uh, hopefully they're receptive and we can push Portal and some of this technology into uh, vehicles tomorrow. Okay, let's ask Chrysler. Emilio? <laughs> yeah, so, so uh, right now this is a look into the future um, and we are, uh, we made sure that a lot of this technology is not smoke and mirrors, make sure that, that, that this is something that, that, that works, but for right now it's, it's a concept vehicle. We're good. Emilio Martin, thanks so much for your time today. Very interesting concept that you've got here. Really impressive. Mitsubishi Electric can help you build heart-racing, awe-inspiring products with the quality you expect, exactly as designed, faster than you thought possible. We are Mitsubishi Electric. You know us for our quality. Get to know us for our innovation.